beginning in the second trimester, proceeding through the third trimester, the 7 million oogonia decrease in number to about 1 million potential gametes. As this syncytia, those masses of germinal cell clusters where the cytoplasm uh, between cells uh, which have divided are still connected, these syncytia break down and there is massive programmed cell death or apoptosis, also known as atresia, in these oogonia. This seems to be a way in which oogonia, which potentially possess mutations, are controlled for so that only the healthiest potential gametes uh, will uh, proceed in reproductive development. At about this time, cells from the ovary, known as granulosa cells, are invading uh, the syncytia and may have a role in the degradation of the syncytia. It is uncertain where these um, granulosa cells uh, originate. It was originally thought they came from the mesonephros, although uh, it is also possible they originate from the surface of the ovary. This then forms the primordial follicles in which a primary oocyte, which has paused in meiosis I at the diplotene stage, is surrounded by flattened granulosa cells and this entire structure forms a follicle. The primordial follicles set the maximum number of potential gametes that a woman could develop in her lifetime at about one million. When they are exhausted, the ovary cannot produce any additional uh, reproductive structures. Note that unlike sperm, which travel singly, the female oocyte will develop as part of a larger structure known as the follicle. A number of glycoproteins are secreted in a layer which will separate the oocyte and these granulosa cells. This uh, cell-free layer is known as the zona pellucida. Uh, in this zona pellucida, cytoplasmic extensions from both the granulosa cells and the oocyte contact each other and the gap junctions form so that signaling molecules may pass between these uh, granulosa cells and the oocyte. Each will depend on the other as they develop. Oocytes will die if they are not contacting granulosa cells.